There are reasons when sometimes you may have to amend the time and date on your fire alarm panel. For example, every time a panel's powered down, the panel will always display a condition. You can view the panel conditions by pressing F1 to select show events. Using the jog dial button, turn the button to select conditions, then push the jog dial button. As you can see the date and time is not set. This condition can only be cleared by setting the time and date. To set the time and date, you must be logged into the panel using either a maintenance or installation code. For this example we will use a installer code. To log into the panel as an installer, press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial button, turn the dial and select a user which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial button to scroll down to the password option. Using the jog dial button, select the correct password for the user. To do this simply turn the jog dial button to select the correct number, and by pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial button or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Using the jog dial button, select panel setup, then press the jog dial button. Now select date and time and press the jog dial button. You can now set the time and date. Pressing the jog dial button will move the cursor one step over to the right. The FireNet Rhyme Sync can be used if you have a network system and you want to synchronize the time and date for all your panels on your network. This can be achieved by changing the FireNet Time Sync to Yes. Once you have finished setting the time and date, simply press F4 to select Enter. Then press F1 to select Back, and now press F2 to select Exit to complete the process.